Hi guys, this is Alex at BlackBoxMyCar.com. Today I am making a quick video to show you guys two different ways of installing a dash cam. Um, I was actually taking pictures of how to, uh, I mean, to make a step-by-step -step guide as to how to do the, these two different installs. Um, and I decided why not shoot a video that can uh, go with it. So, um, so right now I'll share two quick ways as to how to do the installs. So first thing is a plug and go simple easy way. That means you're going to be plugging right into the cigarette lighter. Um, so with the DR550, DR500 uh, or the CR500 or any of the dash cams that you purchase and I made this many many videos already but mount it right underneath the rain sensor or right underneath the, the mirror cap basically and from that position from the driver's position if I were to sit over there you don't I don't see this dash cam um, from my uh, driving position and even that goes with the DR, uh, CR500 Lucas maybe not because um, depends on the vehicle for this vehicle uh, the rain sensor part is quite long and thick so you're bound to see the speed uh, reading LCD for Lucas but um, for any CR500 or DR5 series it's fine um, you don't see the device so anyways first thing first mounted and Yes, you can't really see whether or not this is mounted center, but what I do is if you get a credit card or a gift card, place it outside of your window and maybe a law um, and make it so that it, it's, uh, you know, uh, in, a, in a perfect uh, position. And from that position, you can see, okay, whether I'm not, uh, whether or not you're going to position this dash cam in a perfect angle or so. Because if you do follow these dots, um, these are also called matrix. Um, if you follow these dots, sometimes they're so much slanted um, in one direction to the other, or they're curved. So don't follow those dots because they will end up uh, uh, confusing you into getting it right. Um, so first thing first, mount it, and then run your connect this wire, bring it all the way up. And here I use this one clip. This is the only one case I use a clip to clip into this position and after that wire it in so tuck the wire in I'm using a tinter's tool or I mean if you have a credit card old credit card that you're not using or a Starbucks gift card you can simply use this or that card to make some room and push in the wires some vehicles are very very difficult some are not but um, for most vehicles, this is an easy task, and this is where it gets somewhat tricky. Let me get the light here. Um, so you see, I mean, for any cars, only convertibles or a couple cars uh, that I've worked on didn't have this uh, A-pillar uh, crevice. So if you can put the wire in along this line here, you're going to be able to hide the wires very nicely. So what I do is again, either use this tool or a credit card, um, simply push it in and you can tuck in the wire. And again, when I first made my video as to how to do the, these installs, um, I didn't talk about the whether or not the airbags can deploy because some cars have curtain airbags and whatnot. Um, just think about the amount of uh, pressure that gets applied when the airbag comes out it's nowhere i mean there's no way this this one wire is going to cause the harm so um and besides um unfortunately a couple customers of mine have been in an accident where the all the airbag has to had to uh, deploy and no problem whatsoever and again this is the method that koreans are using and korean people are the ones that are widely um, exposed to the dash cam so you can go with it. Um, for a small tip, any uh, Audi owners, Audi is probably the one of the toughest vehicles to do the install. And I myself have an Audi, so I know um, for sure, for sure. And that's why you don't see me using that vehicle to a demo all these videos nowadays because it's just so everything is so tight and everything is just so difficult to uh, remove. For for an Audi owner, you should be able to take this thing off an airbag sign and underneath the airbag sign there's a screw that you can un, you know screw a little bit and this will come out much much easier so 
Uh, if you're going into the cigarette lighter route, all you have to do is put your wire through underneath this rubber part. Just place it underneath like that, as you can see. And then all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Sorry, I don't have it all cleaned up nicely, but you can see what I'm doing. Um, go up between all that rubber part, and an easy, lazy way is to go underneath, underneath the uh, carpet and put it through the carpet and then into the cigarette lighter if you have another cigarette lighter say in the back or in your um, glove box or, or glove box or the center console um, you can put it there but if you don't mind using it you can use it here but for me I like to use this one right here the one in the back so there's a cigarette lighter in the back that you can use um, and that one is much much easier to use so yeah that's a one simple plug and go method that uh, anybody can use to do the install um, so so let's move on to the hardwired uh, part so if you are looking to hardwire the dash cam there are two different types of people that like to hardwire these the why they hardwire the dash cam is because one scenario is so that you can hide all the wires and another scenario is that you can use the parking mode by motion detection for your dash cam. And if your dash cam is capable of recording videos when the vehicle is parked by motion detection sensor, I say why not? I mean, the hardwire install uh, kit is very cheap and you can actually get um, a decent videos, any mishaps that can happen to your vehicle. And for my case, for me, I actually caught a guy who hit and run my vehicle um, early this year, 2014 and I'll put that video under the description so you can see the video and because I was using the F550 because of that video my deductible of $300 was waived I didn't have to pay anything because of the license plate that was captured in my video so so let's go into the hardware and supply um, you have to locate your uh, fuse box first and I'm not going to go into all in the, in the details of how to do the hardware install. You can see that uh, underneath our description, we have a videos how to do uh, PowerMagic Pro hardware install and whatnot. But look for your fuse uh, box, and once you recognize your fuse box, find a fuse that's okay to use. Um, over the time, I was able to uh, sort of, um, you know, nowadays I don't really have to look for a fuse that's working or not working, but usually the heated seats, um, radio, headlights, they all have power, constant power. And for red wire, yellow wire is going to the fuse that's always working. And for the red wire is going to the fuse that's not working when the vehicle is off. The reason behind is that the dash cam can tell and also the power kit and the hardware kit can tell whether or not your um, dash cam is your vehicle is running or not um, your dash cam does have g-sensor so if you park your vehicle for 10 minutes it does go into the parking mode because you're not moving but the dash cam now the high quality dash cams can recognize whether or not your vehicle is on or off by the fact that the ACC wire is plugged into the fuse that's not working when the vehicle is on so that means when the vehicle is turned on the fuse is uh, from the fuse from the red wire is going to supply power at the same time, so the vehicle knows and the dash cam knows that your vehicle is running, um, and the software part of it basically. So find a fuse that's working and find a fuse that's not working. The finding a fuse that's not working is a bit tricky. However, if you're not using PowerMagic Pro, you don't have to necessarily use the red wire to connect into the fuse that's not working when the vehicle is not working, uh, not turned on. The PowerMagic Pro is a bit tricky and I don't really like using PowerMagic Pro and as you can see I'm using the multi-safer because it is so much better, so much accurate and even has a temperature monitor inside the, the kit itself so it raises off the voltage cutoff if the weather gets too cold. Um, and again uh, for PowerMagic Pro you do have to have to hardwire both the yellow wire and to the red, the red wire. 
Um, usually the red wire, it depends on the vehicle. Some cars would actually say ACC on your fuse map, then use that. But for European vehicles, you don't see that ACC written on the fuse map. Um, so you can you do have to find a fuse that's not working when the vehicle's not uh, off by using the voltmeter because um, more options you have, it's going to be very difficult and tricky to find a fuse that's not working and that is safe to use. So make sure uh, find a fuse that's safe to use when um, to tapping in. This is nowhere dangerous. Uh, and again, a uh, good thing I pointed it out. Um, with my Power Magic Pro video guide, I'm basically following a step-by-step -step guide from the manufacturer. And here it is actually. This is from Power Magic Pro. And as you can see, they're not using a, any sort of edit circuit or uh, anything else. So you just have to do it directly to the fuse itself. And I. Um, and from that video, some people have told me, are you sure this is safe? Um, how come you're not using edit circuit? Yes, you can if you want to, but uh, honestly in Korea, this is basically how it gets uh, done. And I have a lot of connections um, with the installers in Korea and also the, the most popular ones, most uh, well-known um, installers to, uh, to see and learn. I had a chance to even visit their shop and learn how to do the installs uh, from them, uh, but even them, they don't even use these at a circuit. Uh, so please don't tell me I'm not doing, I'm not using at a circuit or whatnot. So that's about it. Uh, place your multi safer in somewhere that's uh, safe. Um, if you want to, uh, you should be able to uh, place it anywhere near the fuse box compartment and make sure the connection between this guy to the power outlet is secure you can put a tape around it and it can work better so um that was two uh different ways of doing uh, powering up a dash cam i know it was a very quick and brief video but i thought i'd make this video because uh one of the most viewed videos on our channel is basically how to run these wires and again um, two different ways one to the circuit lighter input and to the fuse box uh, if you want to see more of our videos subscribe to our channel and also look through our channel we do have a lot of videos how to from how to even remove a mount uh, from your windshield to do the hardware install on the power magic pro or the power kit so, yeah, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at info at blackboxmycar.com and visit our website at blackboxmycar.com. Thank you for watching. Bye now.